نورث ایست پرژا سری آف بلخ جلال الدین محمد بلخی نون از رومی was born on September 30th, 1207. His father, Bahá'u'lláh, was considered the highest ranking cleric of his time. About the same time, the news of the Mongols advancing towards the west was the talk of the town. Bahá'u'lláh had to make the difficult decision to move his family away from the danger. They set off towards Baghdad. The journey was long and hard. After going through Baghdad, they ended up in Damascus and finally settled in Konya, Turkey, where Rumi grew up to take on his father's role. At the age of 40, Rumi is now considered the highest ranking cleric, scholar, teacher, and jurist of his time. But not content. Hello, Your Honorable. Tell me, who was greater, the Prophet or Saint Bayezid? How is this even a question? Of course, the Prophet. Then please tell me why Bayezid said, only God lives within me, while the Prophet said he had no true knowledge of God. The daring stranger was Shamsa Tabrizi. I've been searching. Tell me please, who are you? You are what you seek. Courage is the first step. Answers might not be what you are expecting. You must die before death comes for you. I can't wait. What about your disciples? My path will dictate me. Your life will never be the same. All that matter will not matter any longer. Your respect and reputation will be destroyed by you. I am ready. Your journey is long. Let's begin. Day and night is spent with Shamsa Tabrizi. And Rumi's absence at the mosque is not sitting well with his followers. Rumi's absence is obvious. He is up in the mosque again. I know it's that old crazy man. I'm not a poet. I don't even like poetry. But I feel like there is a fire in my heart simmering every word I'm thinking of. You have no idea what you're capable of. There is a poet in you who is getting ready to tear the cocoon. You used to preach with your knowledge in the past, but now your heart will sing. I wear this earthly corpse for what use, to what avail. I am not a cowing crow. Of heavenly birds is my tone. I am a bird of paradise. I am not of the earthly realm. For a few days imprisoned in my cage of flesh and bone. Hesamuddin Chalabi was the student who wrote when Rumi recited. Rumi's absence 
was getting too much for the people of Konya. And they all knew Shams Tabrizi was the reason. He's not at the mosque again. What should we do? That old man is bad news. One day will arrive, one day will call you the poet of love. From east to west and north to south, your words will inspire and encourage people from all walks of life. Put your face on the ground and rain down tears. The heart is greater than heaven and the circling spheres. So why do you constrict it with thoughts and whispering doubts? Why should you make the pleasant world your narrow prison? Happy is the one whose eyes sleep, but whose heart does not sleep. My friend, you are one of the greatest poets of all time, but only you know the path. I can't be with you throughout the end of your journey. I'm not a poet. I don't tell poetry. I have never had anything to do with poetry. You must listen. You must obey. You will know. Rumi knows the danger lurking around Shamsa Tabrizi. Shams, my dear brother. Rumi finds Shamsa's room empty. He starts looking for him to no avail. And he writes, O oh Muslims, my Turkish companion tears the ranks of lions by his own. He is called love by people and calamity by me. Sultan of Valad, Rumi's oldest son could not bear seeing his father in pain. So he takes off looking for Shamse Tabrizi. He heads south to Damascus. Have you ever seen a lover who had enough of the beloved? Have you ever seen a fish out of sea and not dead? While separated from the beloved, a lover is a meaningless name, but the beloved is all the meaning with no need for name. Sultan of Alad has now reached Damascus. I'm looking for Shamsa Tabrizi. The crazy old man? He's always in the back. Look there. Oh, our dearest light of life, I'm so glad to have found you. Why are you here, my son? I won't go back to those people who plant the seeds of hatred. My father wishes your return. I'm bringing you a message from him. Please, please, don't let me go empty-handed, I beg you. Dearest Shams, I'm seeking your light in my darkest hours. Please, come back to us. Shamsa Tabrizi 
decides to go back to Konya with Sultan of Alat. They traveled for days and nights. When approaching Konya, the news was delivered to Rumi's wife. My dearest, Sultan is on his way back with Shams. Rumi writes, Greetings to you, my son. You found a treasure trove. Join my happiness. You found the lost clove. All my greetings to you. May peace be upon you. Play the music of divine. God has dedicated to you. Our sun is shining on us again. There's so much more to know. Thank you for coming back. You have to break your heart until it opens. My return is only for me. Your path only continues by listening and obeying. With these roaming thoughts, all my day starts. Why am I unaware of the depths of my heart? Where do I come from? Why am I here? What is my destiny, my star in the chart? I wonder hard and long on why I am made. What was the purpose of this craft and art? Like the soul, you're going secretly into my soul. If you're going, don't go without me. Don't go without my body. Don't go without my soul. I will tear through the seven skies. And don't go beyond my sight, oh my luminous flame. When you look as a beloved into my astonished soul, I tear up the seven heavens and I surpass the seven seas out of joy. Rumi's long absence had reached boiling points. This mockery needs to end. How much longer are we going to allow this man to insult our master? I don't trust Trams. He needs to go and this time forever. The plan is ready. We'll do it tonight. This time, Rumi knows there is no return. Weeks become months, months become years, and no sight of Shamsa Tabrizi. Rumi was not the grand cleric any longer. Anything could trigger the intoxicating feeling of love and unity. He would dance on the streets and invite others to join him. Breaking old taboos, even encouraging women to participate in whirling. Romy kept writing and searching for Shams. My place is the no place. My image is 
without face, neither of body nor the soul. I am of the divine whole. Rumi is 66 years old and on his deathbed. My son, go to sleep. I'm ready for my journey. Go to sleep, leave me alone. At nights I leap upon my own. With waves of desire, day and night, all alone. Compassion inspire, else vengeful fits are thrown. From me run away, afflictions of sown. For wholeness must pray, else hardships are grown. With my tearful eyes and melancholic groan, Wool of tears shall rise, water wheels have known. My beauty, my fill, has a heart of stone, heartlessly will kill, yet remain on her throne. My beloved and queen deserves not her throne, to her lover is mean, patiently, kindly, my tone. Death and another pain, incurable, we are prone. Rumi passed on December 17, 1273. As per Rumi's request, people were to celebrate his life instead of mourning his death. The people of the city of Konya celebrated Rumi's life. His exceptional literature masterpiece, over 30,000 verses, is the philosophy of life beautifully crafted in delivering the message of love and unity. The Book of Masnavi and Kulliyate Shamsa Tabriz.